Here we have an electrically controlled actuator. These are often used in applications such as valves for controlling opening and shutting of different devices. When 12 volts is applied to this actuator, it should give us a rotation going 90 degrees one way. And then when we trigger the relay internally with another 12 volts, it should go 90 degrees the other way. We have everything hooked up here, and in this unit's case, it is actually not working. We can hear it trying to do something, but the actuator is not moving. So we are going to go ahead and get this opened and see if we can fix it. Here we have disassembled the actuator, and here we have the drive module. This is what gives the DC motor down below control. And we have the gearbox assembly, and now we've got this opened, and go ahead and see inside. Now we can see inside, and immediately we know what the problem is. You can see this gear here. The main gear has shattered and definitely would not be able to spin. It's completely locked down. So we are going to go ahead and replace this, relubricate the whole assembly, and do some adjustments, and reassemble, and then do a test. Here we have our 12 volts for our bench test of the newly rebuilt actuator. You can see the shaft position here. It should change when our 12 volts is applied to 90 degree position. So we will go ahead and do that now. And back 90 degrees the other way. We will do that again. 90 degrees and then we will go the other direction. So each time we fire this relay is how we are changing the direction by applying this 12 volts. See, it goes back 90 degrees. And when it is removed, again back in the opposite direction. Thank you for watching. For more videos, subscribe to our channel.